Now you got pitchers who are pissed off, and now you got managers like Joe Girardi seeing somebody's going to their hair like Scherzer, and then asking the managers, asking the uh, umpires to check him out in the middle of an inning, and the umpires say, "Okay." This is what Girardi had to say last night after the game. I've seen Max a long time since 2010. Um, obviously, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, um, but I've never seen him wipe his head like he was doing tonight, ever, um, going like this, right? So it was suspicious for me. He did it about four or five times. Um, it was suspicious. I didn't mean to offend anyone. I just got to do what's right for our club. But he's a former catcher. He knows the reason why Scherz is most likely going to his head is because he's got nothing on the mound other than a rosin bag now. These guys need to grip the baseball in a manner that they got to have something to grip the baseball. They can't go total cold turkey, so they're using the rosin bag, and they need some sort of moisture to mix with it to get a better grip. He knows that. So he's going to his head thinking, what, he's got some sort of spider tack up there or some sort of sticky substance up there, and he goes to his hat because he's going to his hair, and he's putting his new hat that he's probably never pitched in more than just once back on his head. Which is exactly what Scherzer said after the game last night. For me, it's you know kind of confusing. Um, if you watch the bomb at bat, um, you know, I just I almost put a ninety five mile an hour fastball on his head because the ball slipped on my hand. Um, you know, the whole night I was sick of kind of licking my fingers and tasting rosin the whole night. So the only part I couldn't even get sweat from the back of my head because it wasn't a really a warm night. Um, so for me, I, the only part that was sweaty on me was actually my hair. Um, so I had to take off my hat to be able to try to get any type of, uh, you know, try to get some type of moisture on my hand uh, to try to, you know, mix with the mix with the rosin. And so, um, you know, for me, that's that's the confusing part is I'm just trying to get a grip of the ball. And you can even watch in that previous at bat, the ball slipped out of my hand, almost drilled something in the face. It wasn't a warm night's night. So the back of my neck really wasn't that sweaty uh, when I tried to get there. Um, and so for me, the only part, the only body part that actually had enough sweat on it was my hair. So, um, you know, that's fortunate tonight, but I mean, th- this is going to be dangerous when, you know, you're in a cold game and you have no sweat. Uh, wh- what will we do then? These are Manford rules. I mean, go ask him you know, what he wants to do with this. I- I- I've said enough, you know, go, lose- go ask Ar- Alec Baum how he feels about 95 at his face. I-, I-, I don't need to say anything more about this. That sounds like a guy Ooh. also who's the uh, one of the more powerful player reps for the Major League Baseball Players Association on their executive subcommittee. Talking about the commissioner Rob Manfred, because now we got we got pitcher we 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 got pitchers who are going to the Hall of Fame getting checked three times in a game, once by a manager who thinks he's got something going on inside his hat. This is already when we're worried about sign stealing and whether <laughs> there's an exit velocity and whether there's a shift on that's proper. And then there's the spin rate that we're looking at because they're not using stuff. And are they really using stuff by going to their hat? And let me call it out and let me be a home plate umpire who's got to have stuff thrown at me because the pitchers are pissed off. And then Kevin Long, former Yankee hitting coach, who's now at the, the uh, Nationals, is screaming curse words at Girardi. That's who he was coming out to speak to, by the way, in the fifth inning. He wasn't going after Scherzer. Scherzer was staring at him, not in the inning where he was checked, but the inning after that. I guess he was steaming enough about it. And then Girardi, Scherzer's staring at Girardi, who's in coming out of the dugout, and he gets ejected because that is a provocative act to literally get on the field. Yeah, like, exactly. are you trying to fight, Joe? Like, yeah. what are you doing? Let's I know go. that your, your former colleague from the Yankees is cursing at you. You know what you're doing is a provocative act. You're, you're breaking up the inning and the concentration and the flow. Clayton Kershaw, the Dodgers, after seeing this last night, said that a manager should be penalized for asking for a pitcher to be checked and the pitcher doesn't get caught with anything. That's an interesting idea. Maybe there's a a strike added to the count. If you're going to bust up an inning and say, check this guy with my batter at the plate and there's nothing, the one-on-one counts now one or two. Maybe that'll stop somebody. Certainly because we don't know what the rules are, basically. Certainly as fans. We're just, I guess, supposed to Google it. And how many times can it, could Girardi have come out the next inning and done it again? 
It's, can he do it to the next reliever and the reliever after that, right in the middle of, a, of an, hey, it's the ALCS. ALCS. I think the guys went to his hat. He went to this. He went to that. Let's bust it up right in the middle of the sixth inning. Let's check him out. And then the pitcher takes his pants down in front of the whole country. That's what we got right now. Here's the answer. Get in the room with the players and the pitchers and come up with something you put on the mound. The pitchers can use it. They feel like they've got a good grip. They're not going to get hurt. They feel like they're not going to kill somebody because something's out of hand. Managers aren't put in a position of looking like they're pulling a fast one to break up somebody's rhythm. They're also not staring at a pitcher to see if they're going to their sweat head. Umpires don't feel like they're TSA agents and they're getting stuff angrily thrown at them. Did you see? I think one of the I think one of the umpires literally touched Max Scherzer's head last night. <laughs> In a pandemic, we're gonna reach over to somebody's sweaty head and paw it. I think that happened. And we're going to do this in front of the cameras. We're going to do this to a, a future Hall of Fame pitcher. Yep. We're going to do this to managers. And we're going to do this to the umpires. And pitchers brought on themselves because they couldn't stay away, stay away from the stupid spider tack. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Yeah, all they had to do was keep using rosin, sunscreen, well, and pine tar well, like they had for 50 that years. Is, whatever that is, put it on like some sort of... Men in stick, right? Some sort of or like, a rag or, or just something, something, and just leave it on the put mound. Put it on the mound, and a pitcher can go to it. Right, and then we're done with this. We're done. It's over. Why are we making a big show of it? Because the players don't trust management, and the management folks don't want to involve the players. That's the only rational explanation that I'm seeing, which is why I'm saying this is bad. Not just for last night when we see Sergio Romo's skivvies. Great <laughs> fantasy team name, by Good the way. fantasy name, yeah. And we're seeing Joe Girardi puffing his chest out. By the way, <laughs> at least someone from Philly is willing to take a shot. Hey, and then, oh. and yeah, and I'm feeling it. Hey. I'm feeling it. <laughs> you don't see umpires feeling the need to touch somebody's head. And we're not sitting at home. And my kids are not sitting wondering. Well, they're getting checked out again, Dad. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks and Spider Tack and Spin Rate. I don't care. Take me out to the shift. Take me out to the third baseman standing in short right field. That's good. I'm going to redo huh? this song. Hold on a second. Seriously. Willie, you know what? Uh, Willie, Mickey, the Duke, and spin rate. What the hell are we doing? I just want to go back to the times where I open up my baseball cards and I see that piece of gum in the middle and I'm like, I'm going to chew it. Oh, my God, my tooth's broken. <laughs> oh, and I wonder watch, Franco rookie. And I watch somebody tonight. <laughs> and I know pitchers were putting crap on a baseball and I know bat batters were, were juicing a bat. I get it. But this is out of hand. It's out of hand. I just want to focus on the game. Yeah. And Girardi just writes another thing down in his binder so he knows the next time in the seventh inning when there's two outs and there's the spin rate and exit velocity and the guy's been three times through the order and we got to put the shift on. We got to make sure that um, – last night, Garrett Cole looked in his hat. You know what Cooper said to me? He goes, does he have something in there, Dad? That's what my 10-year-old said. I'm like, no, Dad. I'm like, yeah, he has something in there. It's not something he's putting on the baseball. It's a certain number code. He held up the number three. You know what he said to me? Cole looked in his hat. Does he have something in his hat, Dad? Well, he does. It's a number code. Why is he holding up three? Why would he tell him what the batter, what pitch is coming? No, he's turning to the catcher to say we're on sign style number right. three because right. they don't want to cheat. They want the person behind them cheating right. because a couple of years ago they were using Apple Watches and they were using Theraguns on, on benches. And I'm like, holy crap. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.